alongside Don Flora, Pirates head volleyball coach. I'm Kid McConico. Pirates five and two in the SCAC. Your only losses in conference play are to two of the best teams in the entire country. Yeah, you know, you look at this conference again, and uh, this this top end, we're we're pretty uh, strong. And when you look at the level of who Trinity's played and what they've done, they've done some nice things, and we feel like we learned a lot in that match. And then uh, we got Colorado here and. Popped them uh, pretty good in the first set and then just couldn't maintain and sustain through second and third. But the good thing was we battled in that fourth set to give ourselves a chance. And, uh, you know, if we're able to play at this high level with these great teams, I think the you know, as we can manage some things to get to that high level longer, I like, I like where this group is growing into. Coach, you have a lot of games, non-conference games, against some ASC opponents. Before we get to those, let's go back to this previous weekend. You hosted the SCAC Divisional Crossover. Big matches here in Georgetown. Yeah, the good thing was, you know, the conference is better from the top to bottom, the bottom to top. You know, the, the margin between the top and the bottom is uh, much closer. Really, you know, University of Dallas is a completely different team. Centenary uh, took a game from Colorado, played us toe-to-toe. We beat them in three. Uh, but that was a really quality win, and uh, Johnson and Wales is coming along. There's pieces of their puzzle that they uh, are going to continue to work on, and so you look at the three wins, and and uh, it's just a lot better. The depth of what this conference is doing, you know, University of Dallas beat uh, Austin College for the second time in like 20 years. You know, so you just it's good for the conference. We we like to see that. We hope that uh, we can continue to grow and develop into. You know, we're all working toward being regionally ranked teams instead of just the top three there. And uh, so it was a good weekend for us and hosting it and having a vibe. There was a awesome, awesome environment on Sunday against Colorado with fans from all over Austin, let alone our uh, men's uh, swimming team coming out with uh, kickboards and more. So uh, it was fun. Yeah, if you missed that, you're really missing a spectacle. Make sure you come out you can find the full schedule at southwesternpirates.com. Always fun going to those volleyball games. Great atmosphere, as you mentioned. Yeah. I was impressed by some of your younger players. Your setter, Mackenzie Mendez, was fantastic. And Alyssa Dooley really stood out to me. What stood out to you? Yeah, I think uh, one of the things, you know, got to give Brandy and Jameson a ton of props for their serve receive. You know, they're, they have really settled into taking care of our passing and, and the first touch and they, they were really good all weekend and so when you can just establish a rhythm uh, that makes Mackenzie's life a little bit easier but then Mackenzie's got to take that second touch as our setter and deliver the right balls to the right places at the right times and her knowledge and her learning is just growing exponentially each match and so watching that is special and then uh you know, Ashley Whitlock, Alyssa Dooley, uh, you got uh, Darby Stowers on, in the middle, you, Lauren Crabtree's coming off the band. We just, we have a lot, a lot of uh, presence with the rookies. And even Allie Grona, you know, coming off the bench uh, as a defensive specialist, she has grown a lot with what she's seeing of the speed of the game at this level. So our first year newcomers have really been impressive. Coach, you get a break from conference play, but certainly not a break from playing matches. You had one last night, another tonight. Out of conference, hosting Our Lady of the Lake tonight. That'll be 6 p.m. The opening serve here at the Robertson Center. What, what are you hoping to see in these non-conference matches against these ASC opponents? Yeah, there's some areas where we've really been focused on in our training, and so you want to see some development of certain key elements. And so uh, yesterday, and today, those are some key things for us to can we grow and make some changes in some areas that we must make. There, there's some simple things we call them controllables. There are things that we are fixables. You know, if we make this type of error, those things are, it's not just a physical piece of the game. It, it's a controllable. It's something that we can handle and understand how to do better now. And so can we make those changes on the fly? And so we really challenged our athletes last night. You know, we feel like uh, as we lead into today and we lead into next week, uh, you know, we've got some areas that we can really develop and grow that will help our offense, will help our blocking, which are sort of the key things. If we can just continue to hit for a high percentage, and we've got to just change a few things in our blocking. And, uh, you know, Haven Kathy uh, coming a long way. Ashley Whitlock coming a long way as middle blockers. Uh, and Darby and, and uh, Cassie Nips are going to have to step up. That middle blocking position is still a work in progress. Coach, you have a lot of matches in a very short period of time. How difficult is that, not just physically, but mentally as well? Yeah, the emotional side. So one of the things, you know, we get through tonight, we have a day off, we get some training, we have a little bit of time off this weekend. So... You have to have some time to breathe. You know, you have some time to just have some space from your teammates. Uh, 
and and that's just the the rigors of what we do. You know, this last you have four matches on a weekend. You got a day, and then you got two matches. You know, we had six matches uh, over five days. That's a little gnarly, and you know, to handle that load emotionally and the emotional quotient. We something we talked about. You have to have that emotional connection and and mental fortitude to stick together through the tough times. And so I think that's the, you know, that's the beauty of watching this group, this group learn. I really love this team. I mean, I absolutely love how we're working at it and we're battling together. Like we're, we're digging into some good stuff about how to grow emotionally and physically. Pirates in action tonight, 6 p.m. hosting Our Lady of the Lake here in Georgetown. Coach, it's always a pleasure. Kip, uh, the best. You know, gotta go Pirates and always the best to be together. Go Bucks.